and welcome everyone! Does anyone remember this series? Cause I don't, it's West of Loathing. What these strange soft houses you two calling? They're called yurts. Oh! Is there a punchline here or... <laughs> Excuse me? Okay, let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Hooray! Hooray, Jesse! Wow, the day! You saving it! Shucks, I couldn't have done it without you, Gary. Come on, let's go check out the final cutscene. Hey, no, no, any other ideas? We're not, we're not there yet. Gary says you should try to help the mayor of Breadwood get that logging permit from the Ghostwood bureaucrats. That's a good idea. I think the last time I went, I got pretty stumped. Where are we, Ghostwood? I got pretty stumped because they refused to talk to me. They said I had to like sign something with a pen and it had to be like a ghostly pen and where am I gonna find a ghostly pen? You know, like knock? No. All right, so let's go to the town hall, see what we can do here. Knock. Hello, the general store won't give me a pencil without a visitor ID. No, certainly not. They aren't authorized to deal with anyone who doesn't have ID. So how am I supposed to get a number three pencil? I suppose I could issue you a temporary visitor permit. You don't need a pencil for that one. Okay, great. What's your last name? My last name is Slapshank. <laughs> First name? Slim. Middle name? Um, I believe our middle name was, um, Sneaky, but we're just gonna go with Danger. Great, where are you from, Slim Danger Slapshank? I live wherever the wind takes me. Yeah, well, the post office doesn't deliver there. Try again. Oh, well, fine. A little farm outside Boring Springs. Never heard of it. Well, it's not much to look at, but it's home. That's nice. All right, how many bars are in the window of the adjunct department of records? Ooh, it's a quiz to make sure you've actually been paying attention to and care about our little town instead of just breezing through to show your dedication. Let's go with six. Haha, <laughs> correct. All right, everything seems to be in order. Here is your temporary visitor pass. Thank you, this is just a temporary blah blah blah. It has Slim Danger Slapshank written on it and has probably already expired ex 11 seconds, Jesus Christ. Um, where are we supposed to go? Um, okay, requisition form, last name Slapshank. Uh, seriously? Um, okay, looks like we can take the pencil now because um, have I turned into a ghost? I'm not a ghost. How come I can I can touch ghostly items? That's it's really spooky. All right, now what do we do? Um, saloon? Nope. We need our visitor. Oh, we can sharpen the pencil here. We've got a sharpened ghost pencil. I forget what I'm here for. If I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Um. Okay. So nothing there. How about the town hall? Right. A number three pencil. Here it is. That's a number four pencil. No, it's 75% of a number four pencil. Well, we sure know how to, how to argue. I see. Hmm, I don't see anything about this in the bylaws. Very well, I suppose it will do. Let's get you started on that visitor identification permit. Thank God. Last name, what? You just asked me this. Y you should know me, I'm Slim Danger, Slim Danger Slapshank, the Great. Yep, that matches what it says here. Good. Where are you from? I already told you. Why are we going through this again? It's like one of those cheesy rom-coms where the girl has amnesia. Boring Springs. Oh yeah, I've heard of it. I hear it's a real crap hole. Well, excuse me, why don't you d go <clears throat> take a long walk off a short pier? <laughs> Okay, last question. How many bars are in the windows of the six? No? No. But it was six last time. I didn't ask the same question as last, w really? I'm not very observant, apparently. Um, can we, do we have to go through this again? How could you do this to me? I was, I was trying my best. How could you put me through this grueling task? This time we're gonna give the correct answer of 10. Correct, all right. Everything seems to be in order, F off. Oh, I know, I know, I'm being rude, but she's given me the toughest time in the world. Knock, knock. Well, howdy, what can I do for you, Miss Slapshank? 
I'm here on behalf of the mayor of Breadwood. He needs a permit to do some logging in this area. Sounds like a job for the Department of Administration. That's the building all the way down the other end of the street. Isn't that where I just was? Are they gonna send me on a wild goose chase back and forth and ugh, ugh, I'm getting ready for it. Jeez, finally, I'm here on behalf of the mayor of Breadwood. He needs a permit to do some logging in this area. I see, well that shouldn't be a problem. I'll just need to review the logging records to make sure there are no disqualifying incidents. Go to the Department of Records, it's two doors down, and tell them I need the Breadwood file pertaining to logging. <laughs> no wonder this is a ghost town, he would stay here. Uh, one door down, two doors down, what? Am I going to the jail? I'm supposed to pick up a file on the town of Breadwood. Oh, you want the Department of Records? It's next door. This is the adjunct Department of Records. Okay. Okay, thanks. I am... That was a very painful voice to do. I hate myself for that. Stable. Knock knock. Department of Records? How can I help, Miss Slapshank? I'm supposed to pick up a file on Breadwood. One moment, please. Breadwood, Applewood, Antiewood, Badwood. Did you mean Bagel? No, it's the first one you said, man. Must be a suburb. Beaverwood, Bestwood, Bitterwood, Bloodwood. Ah, here we go. Breadwood. Which section did you need? Uh, <laughs> local gossip. Yes, I'm. I'm kind of interested. Hmm. Oh, this is pretty juicy. I'm afraid you need full residency status before I can share it with you, though. Oh man. I'm sorely disappointed. Logging records. Hmm, that section has been downgraded from disuse. You'll need to pick it up from the adjunct department. <sighs> Naturally. Bring it back here when you've got it, and I'll put it in the official interdepartment document transfer folder for you. Is this really necessary? I'm... <laughs> I'm having a terrible time. Department of records. File... What's, what's wrong? Well, these pages are all loose. I can't give them to you like- Yes, you can. You can give them to me. I will- I will personally sort them for you. I'm just taking them next door. They're giving me a documents folder. It'll be fine. No, no. What if there's a freak gust of wind? As soon as you leave here, it would be chaos. Oh, so what do you propose? Well, fortunately, I happen to be the one person in town officially authorized to use stapler. Wow, this is a town of idiots. So you staple them together for me? I'd be glad to, but I don't have a stapler. Of, co of course you don't. Okay, let's go to the Department of Requisitions, which should be the office supply. Uh, stapler, oh, a form. Okay, let's slap shank. Slim, danger, we've perfected this process. Let me just check your visitor identification. Cake or pie? Ooh, I prefer cake. I'm not a huge fan of pie, to be honest. Do you like pie? I don't like pie. Uh, I've got your stapler. Finally, logging permit. Go, go to the stables. Ah, this is, this is so efficient now. I'm having a great time. Okay, I've got the file. The bread with logging records? Fine, let's have a look. Oh, for the love of- I should be the one- I should be the one saying that. What's wrong? That idiot stapled the pages together right in the middle. This is why we took his damn stapler away in the first place. He's the only one qualified and yet this happens. What would have happened if I had asked you to staple it? file is unreadable. You're going to have to take it back and tell him to unstable it. Of course, why Why wouldn't Why wouldn't I have to do that? Why would this have gone well? Administration wants you to undo this, blah blah blah. Department of Records might have an unstapler, excuse me, I need some papers unstapled, blah blah blah. <laughs> I'm a fully authorized unstapler. Great. Um, what? What did you say? Maybe I should have read that. Hello? <laughs> Hello, I'm back again. Oh, no, I'm not. Just kidding. Um, well, howdy. What can I do for you, Miss Slapshank? Do you have the stapler remover? Ah, you're such a gem. Thank you. And here's your stapler remover. Uh, let's go down the line, because that seems like... Hey, I thought we unstapled that. Um, hmm. All right, I'm back with the unstapled business bis snap. Excuse me. I'm frankly amazed. Let's get started on the paperwork for the logging permit. I'm no longer amazed. Lo oh, 
Don't you, don't you know me by now? We've been through this a billion times. Oof, finally! Sign, initial, initial sign. It's like a real life simulator. Ooh, okay, let's have Breadwood Man sign this. Um, it's been so long that I forget where it is. That is unfortunate. Oh, it's super close by. No worries. We'll have this back in a jiffy. Have the, uh, permit? What is this permit even for? Oh my gosh. Loan him my pencil. Alright, we've got his signature. I'm just breezing through this because honestly, I have no patience for this. This tomfoolery. Ooh. Ugh, do we want to try to challenge the snake? I don't I don't have a great feeling about this because usually when it gives you the option to escape on your dark horse that means some shizzles about to go down but hey apparently this was super easy so what was I being worried about? I don't know forget about it eh yeah, forget about it forget about it I, I can't do it I'm sorry um not you there's the signature uh <sighs> Is something wrong? You cover your face with your hands. I loaned my pencil to the mayor. Oh dear. Excuse me while I go kill everything. Yes, that's exactly uh, the sentiment that I'm feeling right now, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. <laughs> hey, mayor man. Let's open up this crate. Lots of goodies that, again, we will never, ever, 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 ever get to use because I am stingy. I'm a very stingy person. I just save all this. I'm gonna be on the show Hoarders soon. Just you wait. Tune in next, uh, next Saturday. I don't even know when that show airs. Uh, okay, I've got the mayor signature. I have the, the, the scribbly signature utensil tool. Hello, it's called a pencil? Alright, that's everything taken care of. Breadwood's logging permit is hereby approved. Finally, wonderful. Processing will take about 48 hours. Oh, <laughs> great. Can you tell that I'm dying inside? Well, everything has to be filed and the actual permit has to be printed and so on. You can pick it up in two days. Excuse me? Unacceptable. Um, so we'll just take the easy way out, move to, move to? We're gonna travel to dirt water, ooh. Or maybe we can find a way to get KO'd here, um. Let's see, what does the least damage? Never mind, we'll just, we'll get this over with, because I really don't have time for this, this foolishness. I need to be out and about, get that permit, go to the final cutscene, and of course I need to take the long way around because, um, what is efficiency? I wouldn't know. Well, okay, refreshed, day 14. Man, I've been through so many days, it's been, it's been a long journey. Sleep again. Uh, next thing you know, I'm gonna be back at Ghostwood. They're gonna tell me, oh, processing needs, it needs 10 more days, cause F you. All right, I'm back. I have my fingers crossed. I, I will try not to get frustrated. My blood pressure is, I'm gonna try to stabilize it. Hello, is it ready? Great. <laughs> I'm out of here. Um, your service has been terrible. I'm reporting you, giving you one star, and never coming back to that establishment. Alright, here's your permit. We only get 90 XP? Okay. Well, that's disappointing, but feel free to relax, even though I worked my butt off to get you that permit. Wouldn't it be hilarious if I wasn't even recording this? Oh my gosh, I was so ready for my worst nightmares to come true. Off to one side of the trail, you spot a goblin digging in the sand with a little shovel and pail. Oh, it's so cute! Hello, I am clams digging. Clams? Clams not being in desert. Clams is ocean things. Haha, -ha, showing what you knowing. Um, clams ocean fish being, like slugs with shells having. Not in deserts. Oh yes, smarty human? Looking at this then. They pull a large piece of shiny abalone shell out of their pail. Well, not exactly a clam, it is indeed an odd thing to find in the desert. Let's in investigate this. Wanting to know more. Oh, wanting more knowing. Sorry, my goblin grammar is a bit off today, excuse me. Can seeing this shell? Sure, keeping it, having lots at home. Aww, so kind. 
You know, goblins are great in this game. I love them so much. Frisco, here I come. Ew. We're doing everything we can to delay this, but um, it's impending doom. <laughs> Feeling a bit nervous. Aww. It's the end of the series. What do you say, pals? Shall we do it? How about one last drink? One more for the road. Uh, what have you got? This cocktail was just invented last week. It's got whiskey and sugar and bitters in it, and it's garnished with a new kind of orange peel thing they call twist. Ooh. All right, that sounds pretty good. Let's, let's have this. Oops, no. Inventory. For once in our life, we are going to consume a consumable. Crazy, right? My mind is blown. Now, before we go into the ending cutscene, let's make sure that we're all decked out in our best gear. I want to look, um, super attractive as I exit this world. <laughs> I suppose we'll get that beautiful spittoon hat, spit-soaked pants, that's, oh, that's a mouthful, spit-soaked boots, um, do we have a nasty ring? Yes, we do, that's... That's attractive, to be honest. Filthy porcelain cow, because we got that out of the spittoon. I believe we got the belch saber as well. Oh, belch bl black scalibur. Ooh, clever name. Sorry, <laughs> just noticed that. And just for kicks, you know, we'll we'll keep the medal of adequacy just to ensure that everybody, everybody, everyone knows that we're adequate. Ah, uh, here we go. Let's, let's hope this is worth it. Looks like somebody on that train got a job as the projectionist. Would you like to watch this movie? It's free because movies have only recently been invented and nobody has figured out that they can charge for them yet. Note that doing this will not change anything about the world or your character. When the cutscene is over, you'll still be right here and you can keep playing if you want. Oh, that's great. That's, that's exactly what I want. Some folks say endings don't matter. But other folks, they like to know how things turn out. The consequences of their actions, like... With the trains running again, Frisco thrived. People came from all over to seek their fortunes. But thanks to you, they didn't have to do it while on fire because some cow attacked their wagon. <laughs> Aww. Look at everyone. They're happy, they're milling about. All thanks to us, cause we're a big hero lady. We're really a man of the people, even though we're not a man. With the railroad completed and Norton ousted, Smee found himself out of a job but in of an opportunity. After being elected mayor, he managed the growth and infrastructure of Frisco with compassion and pragmatism. Why does he get to be the mayor? Why don't I get to be the mayor? In 1944, Frisco was named Most Reasonable City by the Tuesday Evening Post. Aw, there's Smee in front of his city hall, doing business as usual. I mean, he was always a great worker, so I guess I shouldn't complain too much. After you got settled in, Gary climbed to the top... <gasps> climbed to the top of the tallest building in Frisco and shot spores every which way. They say his descendants still roam the west to this day. I love you. Thank you so much for everything that you've done for me. After she finished getting the bakery boys up and running, Louise moved to Frisco and opened her own shop specializing in artisanal breads and pies. Unfortunately, after some unknown vandal kept breaking in at night and destroying all of the pies, she had to switch to a breads-only business model. Ooh. Kurtz left the fort and set up shop in Frisco. His cul- <coughs> fitness group skyrocketed in popularity. The growth was entirely due to word of mouth, because the first rule of Kurtzfit is that you cannot stop talking about Kurtzfit. Ooh, Kurtz till it hurts. Man, that's awesome. Wish we could be dancing with him. We've got some sick moves. He solved all of Breadwood's problems. With the increase in morale and civic resources, they were able to clear the weeds from the road and fix the well and the broken hitching post. There was even enough left over to give the mayor's office a new coat of paint, refresh the facade on the buttery biscuit, and add a second story to the bunkhouse. They even managed to get that horse into rehab. Olive Garden and Cactus Bill lived happily ever after. They even had a few youngins. Ooh. Boy, would I like to see this. That is the most adorable thing in all the land. Look at that little cactus baby. 
I'm so happy. Chuck continued to run his blood and breakfast without incident, accident, scandal, or allegation for many years. Chuck was a good dude, I guess. He still has that noose out front. <laughs> With your help, Roy Bean's Jelly Bean Museum became the talk of the town. Well, first they had to build a town nearby, but once they did, hoo-wee. Oh my gosh, this guy up front is having the, the time of his life. You left Dirtwater a nicer town than you found it. The streets were a little safer, the people were a little wealthier, and the children liked ice cream just a little more. The ice cream thing might not have been because of you, I guess. It's nice to see everyone here. As for you, after your adventure, you settled in Frisco and bought a very long, very narrow house. You filled it with souvenirs of your exploits and started an antique hat hat rack collection what what when you left home you told rufus you wanted to seek your fortune unfortunately you ended your adventure nearly penniless oh well maybe rufus can find somebody else to look up to oops we've missed so many hats i'm i'm disappointed frankly why do i have bones in my house that's disconcerting that sudden music change i feel so dramatic in 1906, all of the remaining cows in the West were simultaneously activated by some kind of signal from hell. They thundered east, forming a gigantic, single-minded herd. Led by the infernal sadist, Duke Bovacus, the cow army thundered east toward dirt water. The herd did some damage to dirt water, but the town managed to mount a pretty good defense, in part due to your fortifying assistance. The cow army seemed to run out of steam after that. Maybe they went back to hell. 420 years later, deep beneath the ground, ancient machines silently stopped doing the things they were built to do. It's probably fine. You and everybody you know are dead by then, and most of humanity has moved to space. Still though, it's a shame about the planet. There are some cool bars there. Uh, well, we didn't do the El Vibrato mission quest quest line, so I guess we just doomed all of humanity. Thank you for playing. Ooh. The end. Well, there you have it, everyone. That was the final cutscene. What? Gary? Is that you? Oh, I guess that was a cutscene of the future, because Gary's still around, and I'm very happy. Very happy that we get to keep him. So, um... Where, where, where was I? You, you just saw the final cutscene. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that was fulfilling and satisfying. So let's lay this series to rest. Thank you so much for joining me on this wonderful journey through West of Loathing. I will see you next time in some other series. Until then, uh, later. See ya and wanna be ya.